Hello! Um, thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to join me on my introductory video. Um, I first and foremost, my name is Nana Adjuman. I am applying for a teaching position in South Korea. Yay! <laughs> um, I was born in Ghana, West Africa, and I immigrated to the United States in 1995 with my mother and five other siblings. We joined my father in the Bronx, New York, and that's where the story began. Uh, we lived in the Bronx for about two years before moving to Worcester, Massachusetts. While in Worcester, I earned my elementary school education, middle school, high school education, so it was pretty momentous for me. Uh, I was also fortunate to graduate from Worcester State University with a bachelor's in history. While at Worcester State, I became very involved in the student organization called Third World Alliance. Uh, that organization is to unify individuals who are from um, underprivileged backgrounds or countries and to give them a voice on the college campus. So we serve the community by putting on a lot of events such as educational events for uh, the students on campus as well as um, a community effort run um, lecture series that we did. So it was a pretty cool experience. Um, why as a result of my involvement in the organization, I earned a internship with the governor's office serving the youth. Uh, during that time, I was able to process uh, over hundreds of applications for the governor's youth council. It was a really cool experience to see how many kids, young, young kids were really interested in becoming um, a voice for the voiceless for their for their own generations and to really give them the ability to do so made me feel like I was doing the right thing. Uh, I've had a lot of experiences working with the youth as well as different people of different backgrounds, uh, educational backgrounds and professional backgrounds. I worked with as a youth a youth counselor. I've worked as a camp counselor, as a volunteer coordinator as an administrative coordinator, just basically getting people in touch with the right avenues to, to more successful livelihoods. I really appreciate the work that I do, being able to educate people just on the most simplistic thing and to see how much it makes their day really brings a smile to my face to know that I've actually done something good in their life, even if it's for a little, a little moment in time. I, I love connecting with people. I love being able to educate people. That is really my passion. I am a very outgoing person. I am willing to do anything because I love to learn anything that will get me outside of my comfort zone. We really teach me something new about myself is something that I run towards. It's It becomes my motivator and my passion. I would love to work with kids. Uh, however, I am also very flexible in working with adults. I can manage either or because I, like I said, I'm very flexible and I, I can work with different types of people. So I, I've been really interested in South Korea, mainly for the economic advancements and how the stress on education has really changed the country's economy. Uh, I think the, the major bridge between the upper class and lower class is education and being able to provide that level of education for all individuals within a country is what really allows movement and progression. So being able to be a part of that would be an awesome, awesome experience. I hope to hear from you, and I hope I've also answered any questions you may have had for me. So uh, I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you very much for your time and for, for all of your effort and everything that you do on a daily basis. You're doing a really great job, and I, I thank you for giving me this opportunity. Bye.